Hello, 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 and welcome to this episode of Traveling Builder, where I go to your world, your realms, and I tour or build something for you or check out what you've done. It's going to be awesome. Th today we are on Dober World. I may pronounce that wrong. This is the Emerald Isles. Now, this server uh, started out uh, a few years ago where they evolved into a community of over 100 people. They built on the same world for a couple of years right in a row. But during the this new conversion here, they uh, they lost their world. It was it wouldn't convert right, so they stuck got stuck building a new seed. Everything here is um, well under construction. They've been going at this pretty hard for a little while now, and things are looking really good. Uh, it's on survival hard, which is you know fine with us. We we're totally used to that, right? We're going to take a tour, but it's going to be um, not this episode. This episode, we've been uh, uh, set up to build a fountain right here in the middle of uh, the town square of Spawn Town that's coming up. Uh, we're going to be building our fountain right here. Because it is on survival, uh, I've had to collect all the items, uh, do a little bit of surviving here on the world before... Before we could get get going, but now I've got all this stone. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our stone and uh, oop, there's some great concrete in here. Somebody's made some donations to the fund so with some light gray concrete. All right, we're gonna go right ahead and uh, start this build. Now the first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna need some stairs. Let's get rid of these torches. Um, right here. We're going to need some stairs. And we're going to start with these. Uh, so let's get on the crafting here. And we're going to grab... Oh, you know what? We're going to make them out of stone bricks. So let's grab some stone. Um, I'm going to put down... Let's see. We have 17 stone bricks. Oh goodness, I'm still getting used to this new crafting, guys. We're, we'll get this, I promise. There we go. That'll do it. Alright, so what we're going to start with is just getting our, um, our basic layout for... Um, these uh, stairs and I think how we're gonna do it is um, like so just like so and these are gonna be the risers um, and what holds up our uh, edging which is gonna be probably some stone slabs Let's see, we'll get through this real quick, guys. All right. Now that I have plenty, we're gonna go right ahead and stick these on here, and this will get give us our start to our circle shape. Um, something like so. Now I need my pickaxe. I really enjoyed uh, this server so far. People here have been very, very nice. Now, I think that's gonna be pretty good. Now, everything inside of here is going to have to go. So we'll get rid of all of this. And I'm gonna work on one quarter of this build with you guys, and then uh, uh, we'll cut for a little while, and then uh, I'll finish up this area here. And then uh, we will uh, do the center part of the main portion of the fountain. We got to get the, the bowl and the edging done. 
basically where the fountain's gonna sit and the where the water's gonna go. Okay, so that's up there. We're gonna replace, um, I wanna do one block back. So let's uh, take out another one of these grass blocks here. We're gonna go one block behind and set down the stone here and there. And then like this. And then this will fill in all of this area. Now I do um, know that in the last episode of Minecraft that we put out, the Builders Let's Play, um, I did talk about doing a uh, adventure map. And I wanna talk about why why we're not doing that right now. And that's because I, uh, I, I had a problem with the seed. I, uh, I couldn't get a good seed uh, for the world to work in. Um, I had one set up for uh, the Xbox uh, One Edition, but it didn't convert over well, and I haven't been able to find one quite yet for the uh, for the rest of it. Let's see. We want to have an overhang here. I think that that'll be okay. We're just going to get rid of some of this dirt. And uh, put in this, this stone. That'll get the edging done here. And... The ground is going to be stone as well. Now we're obviously going to go through and put variants in on all of this. But we got to get the stone in at least first. And um, you know what? It's getting dark. And uh, I think you guys understand how to put in stone. So I'm going to cut real quick. And we'll hop back when uh, when I got the at least the whole uh, bottom portion of this uh, done. See you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, we're back, and uh, we've uh, we've got some progress here. I've uh, gone ahead and detailed the whole inside of the pool that we're going to be using, and uh, as you can see, I stuck some redstone in there, and I didn't have a silk touch pick. I had to ask somebody um, if I could borrow theirs, and then go get this. And then I asked around a little bit, and uh, look at all the stuff that uh, they gave me to put down in here. So we're going to take these ores, and we're going to stick them in the bottom of the, of the well here. Like, people threw stuff in. Uh, you know, like a wishing well type idea. So let's go ahead and stick these in. Um, now, we kind of want these around the middle. Um, but we don't want them super frequent, but we don't want them so few that it doesn't look, that they don't look like what they're supposed to. So we'll, we'll throw one over there and one over here. And then we'll stick one. We have two left, so we'll put one here. Uh, one right here just like so now we have two emeralds I want to put um, maybe maybe this one and uh, and uh, this one here And we have some lapis, six lapis. So let's uh, 
These might be a little harder to see with the water on top of them, but uh, we're gonna stick them in here anyway. Because they might look like, I don't know, some sort of blue, other blue gems. We have other blue gems, right? Let's stick one right here, right next to the gold. What other gems are blue? Sapphires are blue. Um, that's all I know. There's probably other blue ones, but I don't know too many. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to break this lapis. That's it. I'm just gonna have to break it. We got five lapis. Okay. So that's plenty of, uh, of these down here. Now we have to create the actual fountain part of this before I want to fill in the water. Uh, now there is one problem with this fountain and that is if you fall into it, you can't get back out. Uh, I didn't make a way out. That's something that we might have to change, but um, for right now, for right now that's fine. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's get on top of here. We're gonna use some just some dirt to get up on top of here. Now I want the water is gonna be two layers deep, right down here, and uh, on top of up here we want um, we want this to stick up just at least above the uh, edge of. No, I don't have any stone bricks. Let's just make a couple. I was like, I hope I didn't just throw my stone off the edge. Um, let's make this come up just a little bit more. Need more stone brick. Okay. Got a visitor checking us out. Um, let's head over to um, here. We need to grab polished andesite. No, chiseled stone brick. That's the one I'm looking for. I want to take a chiseled stone brick and I want to put it on the front face of every side all the way around. Um, let's see. Let's start with this and see how this looks. I'm going to fill this up so stuff doesn't spawn in here. And one more. And then we're going to put, um, one of those and let's, uh, let's do it this way. All right. Never mind. We can't, um, let's do it this way. And then we're gonna just use a regular stone for the middle. Now I wanna take some stone. All right, so I have stone brick slabs. I want regular stone slabs. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do on the top side of each of these, just like this. And then, oop, that isn't what we want. This um, version of Minecraft seems to do, like place the double slab blocks all on its own on occasion. Fairly often, I would say. Let's see, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and put these like this. And we'll break here and here. 
All right, now let's take let's take a little look at what we've got so far. That looks a little odd. I wonder why that is. Oh, freaking out. This is this is lag, people. Hopefully I don't get kicked. It happens on occasion. Um Let's see. How's that look? It looks kind of like it could be a fountain. Like we're getting there. All right, the next thing I want to do is place, I want to try this nether brick fence. I'm not quite sure how it's gonna look. And I want to try iron bars. I don't want to, no. Okay, I got him, I picked him up. He like fell down in the little crank there. All right, let's throw down some more dirt to get up here. Now, I want to put another rack fence and then an iron bar on top of it. And the reason I want to use nether rack is because it doesn't look like wood. So, but it's different. It wouldn't, it doesn't look like a, uh, it looks like it could be more of the fountain. Now we need to get some uh, some water. So I'm going to go get some buckets, find some water. We'll come back. And then uh, we'll fill in the bottom. And finally uh, put the, the water down on this, on this guy. And the moment of truth is finally upon us. All I have to do is put this water right on top of that iron bar. And the f fountain should start. Not like that. Oh, it's going to be difficult, isn't it? Let's just get up here one more time. We'll go move over one spot. There we go. Now we'll put the water on top of the fountain. And there it goes. It should come down. Now let's, uh, let's just get down. Down one more block. All right, now we'll take a look at it from over here. All right, that looks great. That looks fantastic. All right, now I did a couple of things since we were last together. I went ahead and uh, I put some stairs right here. And that was to catch the water and make it tip one more time. I uh, put some blue glass panes right alongside them when you're along one when you're on one of the sides you can't really see them and if you're far enough back you can't really see them uh but what it does is it stops the water from pouring over this way now if it pours over like this if i let this go um do i have another one yeah i do okay let's just let's just grab that real quick all right so if i break this and i break this now, as you can see, it just sort of pours over and all the way around. I mean, this doesn't look bad either. You could leave it just like this, and that would be fine. Um, but when uh, when it it just uh, covers basically everything we built, so let's uh, just get rid of that, just like that, and then it disappears. And I think that looks awesome. That looks fantastic. All right, now all we have left to do is fill in the bottom and it's all done. Why does it like pull like a whole section of water out? It's weird, right? What is going on? Why can't I pick up water? All 
This seems like it should be much easier than this. <laughs> Okay, guys, that's going to be it for today. We are all done with today's episode of Traveling Builder. Uh, we built this awesome fountain. I think it looks fantastic. It looks great right here in the middle of the spawn. Okay, guys, thanks. And if you enjoyed the episode, please hit the like button. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe. I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day.